Hello class, Dr. Mike. So I'm here to talk about chord lab number one. And let's get you started so you get off on the right foot here as a team. So what we have here is a scenario. So we are the Acme Corporation. Great name. <laughs> so you can see there's some background about recent cyber attacks and data breaches and so on. Uh, but really what we're doing is a product analysis. So your team, um, you've been asked by the CISO to analyze internet browsers. So you're going to look at these ones here, Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Edge. So of course you want to break the, this up between your team and how you want to work the analysis, but it might make sense to do it by product. And how are you going to do the analysis? Well, you want some empirical data. And probably the biggest one here is the CVE details. CVE I can tell you, is use this a lot. I think I use it um, in security analysis, pen testing. Um, this is the really the big list of vulnerabilities, known vulnerabilities for products and by vulnerability type. Um, so learn this website. This is a great resource for all kinds of stuff. And I can't tell you how many times I still use it in my contract work. Um, and used it when I was full-time InfoSec. Um, it is the, really the place you can take and show empirical data for vulnerabilities. That's what you want to use. So, so let's take Firefox, for example. Uh, and to give you some outlines here, what you want to do, there is a NIST guide. Um, you can go and review that. Um, and there's a CVE, about CVE sites here. Uh, but let's get you started here. You want to analyze data for each product. So let's look at uh, Firefox. So there's Mozilla Firefox. And right here is our vulnerabilities from 2003 to 2019 currently, of the time of this recording. The different type of vulnerability, and then the number of them has been discovered total. So let's look at this here, code execution. I click on that four there, you can see there's a score value, a description, and an ID. Um, so things you wanna look at metrics wise, not just the number of vulnerabilities that are found, but the types and the scores. Um, so look at the, your attack surface. Is it a code execution? Is it a DDoS, overflow, memory corruption, SQL injection? As you can see, some of these may be pretty bad as a web browser, uh, or maybe a DDoS might seem a little strange, it maybe not as much impact. Um, so you have to use a little bit of your, uh, analysis on what the vulnerability is, and then also the score assigned to it. So okay, so 9.3, um, it's also in red, if you can read that okay, and 9.3. And yes, you can see information about it. Now, again, you can get into a uh, analysis paralysis spiral hole here uh, looking at this. So try to find the best way to approach this with your team. Look at the strengths and weaknesses of each product. Um, any tools that help mitigate vulnerabilities in current versions. Example, um, you know, protections built into the newest browsers like Chrome and Firefox. So, so get together, split it up, look at the look at the um, empirical data, pick a timeline to look at. It might make sense to look at during the past few years. You want to go back a uh, full length, and how you want to present that data. Because you're going to generate at least a two-page report summarize, summarizing your findings. So that's a big key here is, and then you can make a presentation. In this case, your audience is going to be the CISO and department heads. So you might have people here who have no idea what a CVE is or what does director transversal mean. Um, you don't have to explain everything, but if you do call out a certain part of a product um, being bad, let's say, like code execution, let's say, let's go back to director transversal. You wanna call out how this could be a huge risk. And what does it mean by director transversal then? So you might need to actually explain real quickly what it means and then explain the risk if we had this browser, what it can mean you know, to the business. But overall, you want to see trends, um, trends in certain types and certain and, and uh, the certain actual vulnerabilities by year. Products go through a normal cycle. Um, it's normal to find stuff, and hopefully things get fixed. <laughs> uh, things to look at that might not be on the CVE, or could be a variant side here, is the product itself, how often they update. Um, that's a very important aspect of the update once a year, once a quarter versus the update once a week. 
Um, do the auto update? Do they require uh, the, court, the, the end user to update? So, so the inclusion here is you want to find out and say what you think the best browser is for Acme Corporation based on the results of your team research. So you can see where a nice two-page report summarizing your research could be two or more pages. Um, again, it's a summary report, so it doesn't have to be a dissertation about re uh, vulnerability research on browsers. And of course, a nice, clean, and easy to read, good summary PowerPoint presentation. So again, your tools again will be the browsers and really CV details here. This is gonna be where you wanna go. You don't need to install the browser. You don't need to actually run them. Uh, you're just looking at the data, specifically from CVE, to help you make your decision as a team. So hopefully this helps you get started with Cord Lab 1, and we look forward to seeing your uh, results. Thanks.